Because in life, you get ahead by applying, not learning. If you want to edit like Iman Gadji, this video is for you. I also want to tell you about a new update in CapCut in this video, so watch carefully. So, what files we need for this project? We need a blue background and two Formula One cars. Import the background into the timeline and increase its duration to 15 seconds. Then, add the cars to the timeline. Select both of them and increase their duration too. Now, make the cars small. And move the green car to the left to see it behind the red car. Next, add a text layer and create dotted lines. Hold the negative key on the keyboard to see the line. Increase the distance between characters to make the dotted lines more visible. Now, move it to the right side to see the beginning of the line on the left side of the screen. Create a keyframe. Remember, it should be at the center of the shot, so we are going to change the x-axis, not the y-axis. If you want to create a second keyframe and move the line to the left side of the screen, remember the y-axis number. Go to the end of the timeline and move the line to the left to see the end of the line on the right side. Now the second keyframe is made. Let's check the animation. Good for now. Now move the line layer below the car's layers. Now it's time to animate our cars. I want to animate the red car first, so I turn off the green car layer to see better what's happening. Let me turn off the line layer too, and animate the car at the center of the shot, as the line helps me save time, and I don't worry about the car's y-axis changing. Place the red car on the left side of the screen, and create a keyframe for position. Then, move it to the center of the screen along the blue line. To make the animation faster, move the second keyframe to the left. Now, turn on the green car layer. Create a keyframe here and go to the beginning of the layer and move the car out of the shot. But move the green car layer a little to the right side because it should come into the shot after the red car. Let's check them. Good. Before we start next part, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. But we should continue to animate the green car, and it should pass near the red car as you see at the beginning of the video. We should rotate the car too, but be careful how you animate the car to pass the red car with realistic movement. Create keyframes for all positions, scale, and rotation to hold the green car a little behind the red car. For passing, the green car should move and rotate a little to the right side. The driver speeds up a little to move the car near the red car and continues like this to pass the red car. You can move the car out of the shot, but I want to keep it in the shot. As you can see, they don't move very well, and we should change the keyframes a little bit to make them smoother. Right-click on the keyframes and show keyframe animation. Choose Auto Curve for all keyframes on the x-axis. For the green car, use Auto Curve for the X, Y axes and rotation. If I'm not happy with the part where it moves to the right side, delete the extra keyframe on the X axis if it adds unnecessary movement. I change the distance between keyframes to make it better. For the rotation, if the car moves faster, move the keyframe to the right side a little bit. Now it looks good. For the beginning of the layer, let's make it cooler. Click on the keyframe and drag it to the left side so the car comes into the shot like a bullet.
Nice. Do the same animation for the green car too. Now create a compound clip for each car. Go to the video part, turn on motion blur, and set the value to 50. You can use a lower number but a higher number is too much for here. Wait for the process to complete. It makes the animation smoother. Do you see the difference? This video is part 2 of a car animation series inspired by Iman Gadji's style. If you want to watch part 1, click the link above or check the description for the link. Apply the same number to the green car too. Turn on the line layer and create a compound clip for it. Use motion blur, but set the number to 10 this time. It's time to write our text on top. So add a text layer and type, you get ahead by applying, not learning. Choose a bold font for this part. And for not learning, use a thin font to highlight the difference between right and wrong. Choose any animation for it, but for this project, I think slide down is better. Increase the duration to 2 seconds for a slower animation. I want not learning to come into the shot with a little delay. For that, create a compound clip. Go to the video part and use the mask option. Use a horizontal mask and cut the first sentence, then invert the mask. Duplicate the text layer and click on invert in the mask to see not learning. Move the layer a little to the right side to add a slight delay. For color grading, we should make the cars black like Iman's style, so decrease the saturation. If the cars are still different colors, select the lighter car and reduce its brightness. For the blue background, use a vignette and add a few particles to create texture. Before adding texture, Cut the extra frames because 6 seconds is good for this animation. Select all and cut the right side. In the effects part, use the painting effect and decrease the filter and texture. Now we have a better background, right? Let's add my favorite effect too. I think you know what I'm going to use. Yes, hazy blur. Add it on top of the layer. And in the effect settings, Decrease the blur intensity. Cars usually have slight movements when they are moving, so let's add some random shake. For the red car, add the play pendulum effect. Set the twist to 0, strength to 2 or 3, sharpen to 10, and speed to 100. This will create fast movements. For the green car, use the rebound swing effect. Set the strength to 1 or 2, size to 1, and speed between 10 and 15. Now, add a blur effect and create a lens blur animation at the beginning. Set the intensity to 10, Create keyframe here. Then go back a little and set the number to zero. For the third keyframe, do the same. Now we have a lens blur animation. Two days ago, CapCut released a new version. Let me tell you what tools they added. 
In previous versions, we could only create one compound clip per project. Now we can make a compound clip not just once or twice, but three times. Wow, man, that's a big improvement, right? We have a lot of flexibility in our project now, with no limits. I'll explain more in my next video. But for this project, I've already created a compound clip for the car layers, and now I need to create another compound clip. So I select both cars and create a compound clip because I want to rotate them and change direction, and I want to rotate the line too. But the problem is, if I create a compound clip for all three layers, when I rotate them, I can see the edges. So, I should create a compound clip for only the two cars and rotate the line and cars separately. This way, I have more control over them. Create keyframes for rotation for both cars and the line layers. It's better to rotate the car before it passes near the other car. Then, go a little farther and change the rotation to 20 degrees. For the line layer, create a circle mask and increase the feather a little bit. Now we have made this animation together. This is our final video we made. And remember, as always, stay creative. Cheers.